After their bitter defeat in the semi-final against Bucharesti, Vada finished last year's women's EHF Final Four in third place, just like they did in the previous two competitions. Falling short of the final yet again, it was time for some changes. Kicking the new season off with a bang, both Camilla Herem and Maisa Pessoa were added to bolster the squad, and the former had only one thing on her mind with her new team. I think uh, the girls are very good. Uh, I knew most of them um, before I came here. When I got the opportunity to play here, I couldn't say no because uh, I know they have the same uh, dream as me to win this Champions League and I just hope I can achieve it when I'm here. In the group phase, there was already a surprise announcement after the first women's EHF Champions League game as Vada parted ways with Indira Kastratovic, who was then replaced by David Davis. After a draw against Ferenc Varos in Game 1, the team shifted into fifth gear and remained undefeated throughout the rest of the group phase. And Herem and company continued to dominate in the main round as well, securing top spot in their group with losses to only Budućnost and Metz. Vada were finally beginning to show real consistency and performing to their full ability at all the right times. Another change at the helm wasn't enough to deter the side as Irina Dibirova then took over. I have confidence that the people higher up will uh, find the coach we need. I just think it's uh, important for us to focus on our job. They then took their fine form with them into the quarter-final against Michelans. Although both legs were far from a walk in the park, Varda were able to deliver wins on both occasions. With Penezic scoring for fun and a sturdy defence behind her, the veterans from Denmark were left unable to cope. The Macedonian champions have qualified for their fourth Tipmix EHF Final Four in a row, however are yet to get past the semi-finals in Budapest. There is no doubt that the team is ready and after what has been a fantastic season, Irina Dibirova could be the first woman to win the title as both a player and a coach. Her team should not be underestimated by any means and still have a score to settle with their opponents Bucharesti.